Did you see what Tyra Sanchez posted like yesterday, last night, or today? Uh, don't go to don't go to drag con. I warn you. No, it's on our website. If you go to tyrasanchez.com, there is a thing that says B period O period O period M period, and it's a countdown to drag con. What, what, I, she keeps. I, oh my god! You know, Tyra Sanchez is a conundrum to me. I, Tyra Sanchez has always been nice to me. Every time I met her, she's always been really sweet mm -hmm. and really friendly and really nice. And I. Um, and then I saw all these like really veiled threats at DragCon, and I was like, "What is going on?" So I texted her and I was like, "Girl, what is going on? Like, why are you what?" And she goes, "I'm fine. Nothing. Nothing. How are you?" And I was like, "I'm good, but like I'm worried about you." She goes, "I'm good." And I was like, "All right, but I mean, like I said, she's always been really sweet and kind to me, and I'm kind of worried, like." Like, you know, I don't know, girl. It's kind of crazy. Do you know what the fans and the people want to happen? They want her to be dethroned and rule crown Raven at DragCon, which I would live. Because we all... I mean, I can admit that Tyra Sanchez, obviously, in, in the scope of the season, she did deserve to win. But... You know, I am. I love obsessed. I die. I live. Raven is like my god. I'm obsessed with the time. So if Raven got crowned, Tyra got dethroned, dethroned and Raven got crowned, I would live my whole life. Well, I mean... Thinking, of, thinking about it from Raven's standpoint, I mean, who wants to get someone else's crown? That's not, it's not how I would want to win. I would want to win. I wouldn't want someone's crunchy crown that they got, you know, thrown off their head. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm, what I'm hoping is this. I'm hoping, because this seems to be an acronym, so maybe this is like her release of her album or some song called Boom um, on the day of DragCon, which I don't think is... It just, I don't know, it just seems really uh, dangerous. Um, and apparently she's getting investigated by the FBI, LAPD, it's like a whole thing. I just, I mean, I wish her the best. I just don't think she should be doing this crazy stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> On the Snatch Game episode of my, of, of my season, she randomly tweeted a picture of me, my Grace Jones look, and it said, rest in peace, Monet Exchange, cause of death. Okay, ooh. When black people use the word <laughs> to call another black person, that is more hateful than a white person using the word You think so? I really do. I don't think so. I really do because it is you intentionally using a word that you know, a, it's a racial epithet coming from, the call is coming from inside the house, Monet. But you get the same argument can be, can be made for nigga. No, not, no, 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 Because <laughs> is never used to be like, oh, that's my No one said that, hey, that's my but people can say that. People who live people say that's my nigga. Like, as, but but that's because young people have done it. All the people don't feel that way. It's intention. The intention behind is never. Hey, yo, that's my. Well, but honestly, I I not even trying to be funny. I'm not. I you know I always do a thing. I really think I've had. Well, obviously James wasn't there because I I don't know if James still gets offers. Yeah. James, the winner of season two, formerly known as Tyra. Yeah. I don't know if he still gets offers. But he's made it pretty clear that he does not want to be associated with drag. RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. I think it would have been fierce if he'd have been there out of drag in like a yeah. white suit. Because he is a part of like For sure. the zeitgeist of drag and like contributing to Drag Race history and black yeah. history. Like he really is. He's the second winner of the show. I know. You know what I mean? I know. Um, and he's a part of why the first three winners of the show are all people of color. And yeah. I think that's really amazing. I think he deserved to win. And he's very problematic. I know. People have transgressions. For sure. And I've had some too. Yeah. And <laughs> I think that people deserve some. Um, for me, everyone has a different litmus for what they are willing to be forgiving on. Agreed. For sure. So I think it would have been cool if you'd been there out of drag. And all these rich fucking bitches.